Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good. So today in this video, we are going to learn a new chapter, chapter number 3, Understanding Windows 10. So children, let us start. But before starting the chapter, we should know that what is an operating system? Yes, what is an operating system? An operating system is the basic software, the main software of a computer. Okay, an operating system is the main software of a computer, without which a computer cannot run. If there is no operating system, you won't be able to give instruction to the computer as well as you will not get any result also for your instructions. So if you can't give any instruction to the computer, the computer will also, I mean, uh, the computer will also not give you any result, isn't it? So the operating system is the main basic software that helps us to give instruction to the computer. If there is no operating system, the computer could not run. Okay, children. So from here we have learned that the operating system is the main software of a computer through which we give instruction to the computer and get results as output from the computer. Okay. Now children, please have a look on the screen. See here, what is an operating system? Okay. An operating system is a program that manages the computer hardware and other software applications. An operating system is a program that manages the computer hardware and other software applications. It works as a link between the user and the hardware. Suppose children, we are the user, we are using the computer. Now, it becomes the operating system works as a link. The operating system works as a link between the user and the hardware. If we have to use the computer, if we have to use the hardware of the computer, we do need an operating system. Okay, because this operating system works as a link between the computer's hardware and us. And that's why we are able to use the computer. Okay. Next, it is given the most popular operating systems. First is the Microsoft Windows. Children, I hope you all know about the Microsoft Windows. It is used in almost all the computers worldwide. Next is the Linux. Linux is also an operating system. Linux is also an operating system which is used worldwide next is the mac os mac operating system it is basically used in the apple's uh, laptops and desktops and next is the android android you all know children android is used in the mobile phones android is a very popular operating system that are used in mobile phones okay next is children see here this is the user here we can see this is the user and this is a computer see here children in between the user and the computer, the operating system acts as a link. So that's why I have placed the operating system in the middle of the user and the computer. Now see children, if the user have to use the computer, the user have to go through the operating system and then only the user can work on a computer. And again, if the computer gives result to the user, then also the computer have to give the result through the operating system to the user. Okay, from here we can conclude, from here we can conclude that operating system is the medium through which the user is giving instruction to the computer and the computer is giving result to the user. You see here children, first, according to the chart, first comes the user, okay, the user who uses the computer. Next is the application software. You can see here children, the application software. You can see here children the application softwares next is the operating system and the hardware children here it is shown that if the user have to use the hardware the user have to go through this softwares actually the operating system is the main actually the operating system is the main part the main medium between the user and the hardware and if there is operating system, we can also load the other application softwares like PowerPoint is there, Excel is there, uh, MS Paint, Notepad, others, whatever the other applications we are installing on the computer, we are installing on the basis of the operating system. Isn't it? If there is no operating system, you could not install these application softwares like the PowerPoint, uh, the uh, Excel, whatever the, whatever the application softwares you are loading, you are uploading in your computer you won't be able to do so you won't be able to do so you won't be able to upload or you won't be able to install the application softwares if there is no 
operating system so the user uses the application software through the operating system to use the hardware and the hardware also gives the results to the operating system through the application software to the user okay so this is the chart which defines here the process of input and output actually okay okay so children uh, i hope you all have understand about the operating system what i have explained right now uh, in my next video i'll be starting with windows 10 operating system okay so children let it be up to this in this video we will meet again in the next week i mean in my next video till then thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye everyone